no po prostu bałem się o swoje życie, tak. Hidden. Czułem się, mo można powiedzieć, że tam jak prawie niewolnik. And enslaved. In unknown numbers. The true scale of modern slavery in the UK is in the tens of thousands. No need to be frightened now, okay? Unlikely victims slipping through the cracks. Dobrze? Dobrze. Samochód podjeżdża i tylko ten. Rescued by a charity filling a gap the police simply cannot. We're going to facilitate rescue of two potential victims of human trafficking. Sky News has exclusive access following their work for the last year. Spokojnie, spokojnie, spokojnie. Jak chcesz, to ten. Saving those targeted by organized gangs. Naskoczyć z mostu, tak? Criminals often going unpunished. Victims on our streets. Nothing suspicious yet. Next door. It's so commonplace in certain areas that it just goes under the radar. Everywhere. In essence, human conveyor belt of slavery. The trafficker is visiting the house every single day. He's using the address and also uh, he's controlling the victims on the daily basis. Under cover of darkness, a rescue is underway. And what's the plan when you get there? We're gonna, first of all, secure the place, make sure, you know, everyone is saved. This is Peter, an outreach worker for Hope for Justice, the charity rescuing victims of slavery who don't want to engage with police. Big distrust in authorities, big distrust in pretty much everyone. You know, this yes. time at five in the morning, it's for a whole family. I think this is where we are. Okay. Let's make Let's go. No dobrze. Ok, mogą oni z wami wejść? Z panią wejść? You can go. Yeah. The plan is to evacuate immediately. A Polish mother and father and their two young children who've been living here. Their every movement restricted. Okay. Hello, little ones. Hello. No need to be frightened now, okay? They must leave now with their whole lives in just a few bags. Right. But we need to move. Time is pressing. The traffickers could be back at any second. Uh, Macie? To zabieramy. John jest. Wsiadajcie do samochodu, wsiadajcie do samochodu szybko. No to jak ja mam ich dwójkę trzymać? Wsiadajcie do samochodu. And they visit every day. No, you never know, there might be some friends or someone just passing by, we yeah. don't want, because of the kids and the victims, and of course ourselves. Yeah. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks, so we want to be out of here as soon as possible. Agnieszka, Rafa and their two children, Olivia and Brian, have each been surviving on an average of £10 a week completely controlled by exploiters. The trafficker, he said to this lady, oh, if the doors are locked, I will smash the doors and get my way into the property. They don't really care about kids. What they do care is only the profit and themselves. At a secret and safe location, the charity's hub, the investigators, mostly former detectives, learn that this entire family unit has had their meagre wage and child benefits stolen from them for months. Did they ever think about going to the police to report it? Because I was afraid of him. I wasn't sure what he will do if uh, I go to the police. Their manipulation was subtle, clever and then ultimately threatening. If they were to sum up their life in the last six months since June, how has it been? Oh 
Nie odebrał mi telefonu, nie przyszedł do domu, bał mi się wyjść na ulicę. They were forced to open fake bank accounts, the occasional tenor thrown their way. And how um, difficult a decision was it to ask for help? Tak, teraz, przez dwa miesiące byliśmy w kropce, nie wiedzieliśmy, gdzie się zgłosić, jak się zgłosić, do kogo nawet. No z czasem, jak dzieci były chore, przeziębione, to jego to nie interesowało. The Midlands team, led by retired detective Gary Booth, includes former officers with experience of exploitation. He says this trafficker worked his way into the family, slowly introducing threats. He's dehumanised the parents, and clearly that has a knock-on effect with the children. Mm. And they're at a point now where they've had to rely on drop-in centres, on food banks, just to get through day by day. And it's interesting as well that one of their parting comments today to, to my colleagues was their life hasn't been worth living for the last six months. How unusual is it to, for a whole family to be brought under psychological control like this? Um, it is unusual. Um, it's, it's happened before and we've come across families who have been, we've rescued as family units. Um, so it has happened, but it is rather unusual. Um, but again, it's from a trafficker's perspective, they look at a family as a commodity and each member of that family is a means of earning money, mm. illegitimate money. I have no doubt that this is a, um, a, a case really of modern slavery. The big decision is whether they would engage with the police, whether they could speak to the police about what's happened. <laughs> Since it was set up, Hope for Justice has rescued nearly 600 victims of modern day slavery. But while some decide to go to the police. I just want to hang on here. We're going to speak to them first. Many decide not to. Deep distrust means UK forces like the West Midlands, which is working well with the charity, sometimes never come into contact with victims. It goes under the radar with a lot of people. They don't realise that these people have been exploited on a day-to-day -day basis. Another night in Midlands suburbia and another rescue. In this area, the team have recovered over 235 victims in just a few years. We're going to facilitate rescue of two potential victims of human trafficking. It's weekly, sometimes dangerous. The trafficker and people in the house are violent. And like this more typical case, mostly it's victims of forced labor. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Sorry. Dobra, panowie, chodźcie. Wrzucamy wszystko. Dwie minuty, dobrze? dobrze? Samochód podjeżdża i tylko ten. Proszę zabić, jakbyście mogli, panowie. Filip i Misha were living in a house controlled by a criminal gang. We have to look out for uh, expensive cars. Could be anything like Audi, BMW, Merck. They're changing the cars quite often. They're among tens of thousands of modern-day slaves in the UK. OK, how are they? So, OK, stress out, uh, you know, because, as I said, everyone in the house knows that they, are, that they did escape, so there was a stressful situation. Take a seat, my friends. Trafficked in with the promise of a better life, their IDs stolen, then paid little or no money. I'm satisfied that you, you, you are victims of, of human trafficking, of modern slavery. We, we've, we've got certain options. Um, firstly, your option is that you can return back to that situation. I would say don't do it. Option two is 
what you've informed me to, to, o czym may well be poinformowaliśmy mnie, może być poważnym y, przestępstwem kryminalnym. And you can report to the police. I możecie to zgłosić na policję. Nawet nie chcemy, bo my będziemy jeszcze pani Piotr mieli przez to kłopoty naprawdę. Through simple psychological control and sometimes physical, traffickers are profiting by the thousands from just a few. In the UK, modern day slavery is believed to be worth hundreds of millions of pounds. What we've done by taking two people out of that guy's earning mechanism, that's going to hit that trafficker short term in the pocket. The sad thing is, there's going to be two other people in Poland now or in the UK, such as who will be recruited and who will fill that void. And I think that's where... It's non-stop. Yeah, it's, in essence, a um, human conveyor belt of slavery. That's, that's what it is at the moment. And, you know, that's where law enforcement agencies are uh, sort of making those inroads and to try and disrupt and destroy these, these organised crime groups who just inflict misery, human misery. potential victim of human trafficking. We're going to pick him up from a location where he was staying for the last few nights. The more they look, the more victims they find. He's fairly vulnerable though, is he? He is, he is, absolutely. He's scared. He it's March is. now, and hope for justice is on the road again, to rescue a man running from exploiters. Nothing suspicious, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, get him. Yep. Trafficked for years, Alex was sold between gangs as a slave here in Britain. I find very, very difficult to, to separate myself from, from, from the job and from the victims because every single case we're dealing with is someone's tragedy. Then turn left onto someone's tragedy. There's no typical victim. The only common factor is vulnerability. Spokojnie, spokojnie, spokojnie. Jak chcesz, to ten. The growth in modern slavery is being driven by international gangs, capitalizing not on drugs, but on people within an expanding number of economic sectors. Just among more than 4,000 others last year, he opts for the government's national referral mechanism, the NRM, a support system setting victims up in safe houses. Do you still feel afraid of them? Twelve thousand have entered the NRM since 2012, but Alex is among the thousands who aren't reporting to police through sheer fear and the threat traffickers like to perpetuate that if people talk, they go missing. A lot of the time they are orphans or people that have got no immediate family or they're estranged from wives and children and a lot of the time they don't know where they are, what they're doing, so it will be so easy for these people to dispose of people, so to speak. Most victims Peter and John find are discovered in food banks and soup kitchens, but these are also recruiting grounds for traffickers. And it's where we meet Ratis. Claiming he's been exploited. I'm just curious about this. If I leave, what's happening when I leave, leave, leave it? Uh, this. And so there was some kind of fear. Yeah. Understandable. He says he was homeless and living at a hostel when he was approached by a man offering work and accommodation. 50 pounds a day. Yeah, in the cash in the hand, yeah. Of course, I go in accommodation, it's bad. <laughs> what was the accommodation? It's I'm sleeping in a caravan, it's cold, very, very cold inside. He tells the charity his boss didn't pay him what he'd promised. He not pay 50 pounds per day, no. He's every first week he pay me every day, not every day, every second day maybe. 20 pounds, 10 pounds. Then he's miss, miss, miss. Too much days he not pay me money. All Ratis wants to do is work and send money back to his son in Latvia, 
He's now living on the streets. What made you escape that night? And I think, no, I'm not, I'm not staying here, no. I am 31 years old and no money, no thing, nothing. And I need to find a good job. And 12, at midnight, I just leave this caravan. He too opts for the referral mechanism. While that's arranged, the charity take him to a hotel for the night. How do you feel about the future? I don't know, <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> are you positive about it? It's positive, of course. His allegations are at the lower end of the scale. There was never any violence nor the threat of, but if what he says is true, his exploitation was perpetrated psychologically. Very, very happy. <laughs> yes, very, very happy. And it's, I think this, this night, I think it's very, very like a up somewhere sleeping. <laughs> yes, it's, oh, it's different, not like a tent. Yeah. Do you find it quite emotional? Yes. You do? Yeah. It's, oh, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Rattis is yet another potential victim reluctant to report to police, yet another statistic. A Sky News investigation found the amount of crimes recorded under the Modern Slavery Act has increased by nearly 200% over the last two years to more than 2,300 in 2016-17. While most forces said they held no information on prosecutions, from the 17 that did hold data, there were only 25 convictions in two years, representing a conviction rate of just 1.9%. One issue facing police forces is sometimes a lack of evidence. Morning. We're looking for... Simply one word against another's. And why we decided to confront Rattis, alleged exploiter, at home. Hi. Yes. Just wanted to. I'm Adele from Sky News. We just wanted to speak to you about one of your former employees, Rattis Darzin, who claims you exploited him and didn't pay him. Will you come and speak to us about it? Uh, am, am I, are you on, am I being recorded? Yes, you are, yeah. No. Speaking off camera, he said he'd recruited Rattis from a hostel to give him a chance in life, that he did pay him, he never forced him to stay, and he was looked after. The CPS says there have only been 110 prosecutions to date in two years, and it is rising, but it's still just a small fraction. You're right. Nice to meet you. Really good to see you too. So For the charity, however, it's only about the victim. There'll be representatives from the local authority, perhaps from the police, the NHS, yeah. um, fire service. Former police officer Nigel helps train up frontline services to spot the signs of slavery. Now, this video clip is not graphic in its content, but it is harrowing. It's of a sexual nature. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to show you that video. I'm equally sorry if it's upset you, genuinely. I've watched that video hundreds of times. It still brings a lump to my throat. It's a stark reality. Many of these services will unknowingly come into contact with slavery victims. In fact, nearly 60% of referrals to Hope for Justice come from organisations they've trained. But I'll tell you something else that I'm equally sorry about. Modern slavery and human trafficking is embedded here in the United Kingdom. That's what I'm sorry about. Now living hundreds of miles away, eight months on from their rescue, we revisited the family. Agnieszka and Rafa have begun a new life. 
покажу. Так, ну недавно он вообще не стал. Rafa now has a job and supports his family. But still finds it difficult to accept that as adults they were ever open to exploitation. No, wystarczyło mi, że na razie no, jakoś go przeżywam, tak, więc no, męczył mnie, więc no, stwierdziłam, że niepotrzebne, żeby od razu całą rodzinę, tak. Gdzie się czuję, że jestem no, no, głupi, no, w, takim, w takim wieku no, nie mam 10 lat, że dziecko za cukierka. There's still fear of a knock at the door that they might be found. Znaczy teraz to już jest lepiej, nie? Na początku, jak żeśmy tutaj przyjechali. Jak to było, mi to powiedział jego przyjaciel, że dużo osób ginie w Anglii ze słuch po nie. No. Więc różnie mogło się zdać z nami. No skoczyć z mostu, tak, tam wprost. And while police say they've tried to contact the family multiple times, they're still waiting for news. Ani numeru referencyjnego nie mamy. Ja nie byłam przesłuchana do tej pory. You still want this person to be brought to justice? No, musi odpowiedzieć za swoje czyny, bo jeśli ja sam coś nie zrobię. No, nasze miejsce już ma kogoś innego, na pewno już innych ludzi wykorzystuje. West Midlands police say they did investigate and there was a lack of evidence. Dobrze, no lepiej niż na West While they escaped, countless others remain enslaved, even re-trafficked. <laughs> this is, Agnieszka says, how life should be. Free. No, teraz ja idę z, z uśmiechem do pracy, wracam z uśmiechem. To jest coś pięknego, wreszcie. The line between exploitation and slavery is blurred. I think UK 2016, and it's almost a normalized way of existence for many of them. It's such a privilege to give back what has been taken away from the victims. But the true scale of modern day slavery is greater than anyone knew. They're, they're making thousands and thousands and thousands. In 2017, Britain. It's our nation's shame. It's amongst your communities. <laughs> it could well be in the streets that you live in and you won't even know about it.